When I'm doing this work, it just feels like there's no right answer, there's no one path. It feels quite freeing. So it's, it's just really different kind of work to what I do in my PhD. I like the creative liberty of being able to choose how to represent a scientific concept. Like, that's the challenging bit. My name is Ragda and I'm a physics PhD student at the ANU working as part of the ARC Centre of Excellence for Dark Matter Particle Physics. So I work at the intersection of nuclear physics and dark matter. What the centre is doing now is they're building a detector uh, in Stoll, Victoria, deep underground in a gold mine. So I work as part of a theory program in this centre and, and my job is to model this scattering process a little bit better. So the process of a dark matter particle coming in, scattering of a nucleus, and we want to try and look for this signal to try and learn a little bit more about what dark matter is because there is so much that we don't know about dark matter. So I've always been passionate about art and science, both um, equally. Each of these is kind of different mindsets I go in with. And so sometimes it's a nice break to be able to step away from the science if something's not going right or you've been at a problem for a while and just do the art a little bit and be in that really creative and open space. And it, I think it brings more balance. When I was in my art classes, I found that I was uh, constantly pulled towards trying to represent scientific ideas. So this is an artwork inspired by dark energy of the concept of dark energy. Dark energy is a term that we give to the repulsive energy that's responsible for the universe expanding at an accelerated rate. And the reason that we know the universe is expanding is because we look at the spectra of uh, faraway galaxies or faraway supernova and we can see that over time these spectra are redshifted. So this is the reason why I use a lot of red in, in my work. The more red or, or darker red in this gradient, it represents for me like a greater expansion of the universe. It's always a challenge. It takes, twice, it takes quite a bit of time to get it just perfect. <laughs> I've been creating supplementary material to go alongside the artwork, like videos and photos that talk a little bit about the science behind this work. Uh, because I'm hoping to bring to an audience member a more holistic experience of viewing my work and maybe learning a little bit more about the science through the art, which I think would be cool. So this is what the final product is going to look like. I do feel like it's helped me in terms of um, changing my mindset so that I can come back and engage with the scientific process with a more fresh perspective.